everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, also known as your Title King. So at Independence Title, we have a lot of questions that come up talking about how are days calculated in a real estate contract? When are items due within a real estate contract? But first, what I need you to do is click below, click the like button and the subscribe button. So this way you get notified of all of our fantastic episodes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about the real estate contracts and the things that we see that are different, as well as the timelines that you need to follow within the contract to make sure you're held accountable to, to the contract that you sign. So the first thing I want you to do is take a look at one of the real estate contracts that you're using because they're all different. The first thing you need to understand is whether they're using calendar days or they're using business days. There's a very big difference in the counting of the days. Obviously, as you can imagine, two extra days per week when you're working on calendar days. Okay, so take a look at that contract. Now that you've looked at that contract, you're going to see whether you have to calculate calendar days or business days. And then the difference is going to be calendar days are going to be every single day of the week. So there'll be seven days each week. And then if one of your contingencies happens to fall on a Saturday or a Sunday or a national holiday, then you will default to the following business day by 5 p.m. So as an example, if you entered into a contract on a, on a Thursday and your deposit is due three days after, it would put it at Sunday. It would default to Monday at 5 p.m. to where you have to put your deposit. Get it? Good. Now we're gonna talk about some contingencies in the contract. There are many different contingencies that you need to look out for. The first one is going to be when your escrow deposit is due. Sometimes it's due at time of acceptance. Sometimes it's due within three days after acceptance. And again, knowing how to calculate those days, it's gonna help you with your next real estate contract to know when your, your money is going to be due. Then you fast forward a few more days to your second date, which is typically your inspection date. And now, as we all know with the new real estate contract, it's when permits need to be disclosed. You need to do a permit search within that inspection period. And should you as the buyer wish to cancel your contract due to inspection issues, you have that inspection period, which is anywhere from three days to 15 days in the contract. Sometimes you can get a little bit longer. So make sure you also understand, are you using calendar days or are you using business days to get to that inspection period and make sure you cancel the day before so there's never a question as to you cancel too late and could jeopardize your deposit. All right, now let's fast forward through the video and we're talking about your loan approval. Remember, as in the new contract, the change from loan commitment to now loan approval, you as the buyer have a certain amount of time to provide that loan approval. Again, you need to know whether it's calendar days or business days in order to calculate your 30-day window to provide your loan approval to the seller in order to waive your financing contingency and then move forward with the closing. And then last and, and not least, the final date in the contract is going to be the celebration. We love calling it a celebration because it's typically when a seller is able to sell a property, maybe go buy a new one, and it's when these buyers, sometimes first time home buyers, could be investors, are purchasing this investment to do with what they want in order to, to benefit their future. So we love calling it a celebration as opposed to the closing. But again, you need to understand those dates, monitor the dates when you enter into a contract to know, does it fall on a Saturday or a Sunday? Does that mean you're gonna to wanna to try and close early on the Friday? Or is it going to default to the following Monday by 5 p.m.? It's very important to know because the title companies do not like surprises where all of a sudden on Thursday you say you wanna close Friday because the closing date is on Saturday. So proper planning now will prevent problems later. So as always, thanks for watching another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, also known as your Title King. Don't forget to subscribe below, like our video, leave us a great comment, let us know other topics you'd like to hear for one of our future videos, and we'll be happy to produce them for you. So thanks as always for watching, and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table.